Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video. It is 8.25 in the morning on Thursday the 11th of July and I am just about to go do my morning steps. And my step goal is currently 100,000 steps per week. So that averages out at approximately 14,300 steps per day. And yeah, it is kind of challenging, but it is what it is, as they say in Love Island. And yeah, I haven't eaten at all today so far. I will do this kind of session, this cardio session, completely fasted, and then get on with the day. Oh, actually lashing. No. Sun is shining now, which is just typical uh, Irish weather. But anyway, that was a tough cardio session. What's up? Yeah, so recently I've been doing a combination of walking and running on the treadmill just to get my steps in that little bit quicker. But as a result of the running, and I'm running at a pretty high speed, uh, I've been waking up every morning with DOMS, you know? So my leg recovery has taken a hit. And while I was doing cardio there, like my calves were literally on fire. And that is not ideal because I have leg day, like scheduled in, uh, in a few hours. So I don't know what to do, to be honest. Like if it continues uh, and if my legs just feel dead every day, every day, then I will have to change something up. Uh, but I'm just gonna see how it goes. I'm also very hungry right now, so let's go eat. Okay, I just arrived home to a delivery, which I did not expect uh, for another like week or so, so that is good. I think it came from Poland, uh, believe it or not, and it is a fat burner. And fat burners are literally something that I do not recommend 99.999% of the time, but this one here, there's actually some good evidence to suggest that it could be effective. And I'm not gonna go through it in this video, but I probably will go through it in the next video. So if that is something that you wanna see, I'll go through all of my supplements as well. So if that is something you wanna see, make sure you uh, stick around for the next video. Okay, meal number one is 200 ml of egg whites and three slices of ham. And what I basically did uh, was mix them together and put them in the microwave. And the first time I did this, I didn't realize it came out like a little muffin. So yeah, I'm just, I'm delighted with life ever since I kind of figured that out. And if you watched the Summer Shredding series, you'll know, you'll realize that this is actually a little different to what I have done previously. So previously I just used to fast uh, till 12 o'clock and have kind of a big breakfast meal. Uh, but now what I do is have this meal at about 11 o'clock. It is a much lighter meal. It is really, really high in protein and it's basically just to keep me going until that big breakfast meal, which is now meal two. And the main reason that I'm kind of doing that is because I wanted that big breakfast meal that has, you know, a decent amount of carbs closer to my workouts because previously I found that that meal was a little bit too far away from my workouts in terms of time and as a result I was feeling a little bit low on energy in the gym sometimes and I was feeling hungry in the gym uh, sometimes as well. So now that is a little bit closer to my workouts, I feel like my performance has improved, uh, I'm less hungry and yeah. Oh and I'm gonna add some of this Tukal sweet chili sauce to uh, my eggs and ham just to give it a little bit of flavor and I'm actually not sure if this is I'm really not sure if it's weird or not I like it's weird when you start YouTube you realize that some of your food choices are weird yeah I remember at one stage for breakfast I used to have uh, two slices of toast beans and ham and like people thought that was weird I literally never ever thought that was weird so you never know like you might do some weird shit too and you just don't even realize it yes looks good sweet chili is good I 
I actually just realized that I haven't filled you in on my calorie and macro situation yet. So that is probably a good idea because this is a full day of eating. Uh, so in relation to calories, I am consuming 2,200 calories per day currently. And then in relation to protein, let's begin with. So I am consuming between 190 and 200 grams of protein per day. And then in relation to carbs and fats, most of you probably know that I don't really put too much emphasis on them. Well, not usually any Anyway, because when it comes to losing fat, uh, calories is the most important factor and when it comes to growing muscle, protein is the most important factor. So they are the two that I pay, you know, most attention to. But since I'm prepping for a competition, these things kind of matter a little bit more. So, you know, I haven't set myself like really, really specific targets that I need to hit every day, but I do have kind of carbon fat ranges in mind. So in relation to carbs, I usually hit around 200 to 220 grams per day and then in relation to fat, uh, I usually hit around 40 to 50 grams of fat per day. I went to the shop for spinach and mushrooms. That is it. And I literally came back with 29 euro and 71 cent worth of food and drink. So I got 12 little pots of nine calorie jelly, raspberry flavor uh, and strawberry flavor as well. I will be having them a little bit later. I got my spinach and mushrooms that I'm gonna be having now as part of meal two. I got some classic dark chocolate, 74%. And um, that is part of my porridge meal every single night. Um, I got a four pack of Monster because caffeine and then I also got uh, 12 cans of Pepsi Max. Okay, so the first part of meal number one is just about to go on the pan. So in here we have 100 ml of egg whites, we have spinach, mushrooms, ham, and I also season it with some paprika uh, and some cumin. And while that is cooking away, I'm gonna prepare the second part of meal number two, which is gonna be 300 grams of 0% yogurt, 15 grams of whey protein, and I'm gonna top it with some frozen fruit. And boom, meal number two about to go down. That just looks so good. I am so, so excited for this. I am so excited for this every single morning. And I am a big fan of that ketchup mustard combo. Both of these are really, really long cows. This is the no added sugar and salt. Uh, Heinz ketchup and this is French's classic yellow mustard. So both good to add to a meal without racking up too many calories and they taste amazing together. Yes. Let's go. So good. Okay, let's move on to dessert. And as you can see, I sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top just for that extra bit of flavor. And again, I absolutely love this so much. And I used to add like Cocoa Pops and cereal and just stuff like that to the top of this meal, but the fruit isn't far behind in terms of taste. It probably even tastes better, which is like really, really good because it's obviously like a much healthier option and it fills me up a lot more. Like 200 grams of fruit would fill me up a lot more than like a small portion of Cocoa Pops, you know? So it's good. And another tip before I stop absolutely shiting on. So. Always use a small spoon. Small spoon is absolutely key. It will take you longer to eat, you'll have to chew your food more, and you'll just feel a lot more satisfied and full by the end. Oof. Okay, leg session about to go down at Go Gym. And apart from the fact that my calves literally feel like they're about to fall off, uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Yo, everyone. So, to tell you the truth, I have already recorded this clip, but I listened to it back and I sounded so depressed at the beginning for some reason, so I just had to record it again. So, we are going back into the normal clip in, like, just about now. Bye. But I'm basically going to uh, take you through my leg day workout. So, as you can see here, I started with the V-Squad. I was just doing uh, a couple of warm-up sets there. And up until I went away on holidays, I was actually doing normal squats, as most of you probably know. Uh, but the reason that I swapped them out is because they were just so draining. And I knew that during, you know, the final couple of months of my prep, uh, they would absolutely kill me and my leg sessions would suffer uh, as 
as a result and all of the exercises in my leg sessions this is a good angle isn't it i just think my legs look really good there so yeah i'm doing the v squat instead and i actually like facing in towards the machine so it's a reverse v squat technically uh, because i find the normal way is just very awkward and the movement doesn't really agree with me however the kind of standard way uh, would put a little more emphasis on your quads so if quads are a big focus of yours and if the movement is comfortable then you know it might be a good idea to do it the standard way and next up i moved on to good mornings and i started off with a couple of warm-up sets and this is actually the first time i have ever included good mornings in my workout routine and i have to say that i am really enjoying them and you'll see that the movement whenever i decide to do it again come on rack that bar baby get to work and um, that it is really similar to the rdl and it pretty much works all the same muscles too so the glutes the hamstrings and uh, the lower back but seeing as the bar is on your back you have to make a bigger effort uh, to kind of keep your spinal extensors contracted and they are like the thick muscles running up the center of your back so there's just a bit more back involvement overall and seeing as you know men's physique is more about your upper body than your legs because you wear shorts that pretty much cover uh, your glutes your hamstrings your quads you know I think this is a good swap from the RDL just to give my upper body a bit more volume my back in particular and next up I moved on to the sissy squat machine and this is a very very quad dominant exercise and if you do these correctly your quads will literally be on fire by the end so what I basically recommend is just to make sure that you are sitting back into each rep as much as possible so like at the bottom of each rep you want your ass and your upper body to be as far away from your knees as possible and what that will basically basically do is that it will just create a lot of tension through your quads and if you're really really brave like me uh, add in a one second pause at the bottom of each rep as well that makes it significantly harder and i am holding two 2.5 kg plates here so that is a 5 kg in total obviously uh, and by rep 8 or rep 9 of each set my le my legs genuinely feel like they're gonna fall off and after sissy squats i moved on to some isolation work so you'll see that i started with uh, the seated leg curl machine and on these machines it's just so important that you really secure yourself into the machine so just look here how like i'm gripping them handles really 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 hard and i'm actually forcing myself back into the bench and on the leg extension as well uh, which is coming now you'll see that i take like literally about 25 minutes to like get myself into position so i'm gripping them handles really really tight and i am pulling myself down into the bench and i'm doing that because i just don't want there to be any upper body movement i don't want there to be any hip movement either i want all the movement on the leg extension and the leg curl to come from the knee because that's it's an isolation exercise it should only come from the knee joint so just keep that in mind uh, when you are doing these exercises and you'll see there that i just gassed out that leg extension is very hard it's a really really good machine and last but not least i ended the session with a superset so the first exercise in the superset was uh, the leg press calf raise and i know it is currently sped up but i do like to incorporate pauses at the bottom and at the top of each rep and the main reason that i do that is because i find that when you don't use pauses it's just very easy to let your form go to shit uh, it's very easy to let momentum and it's very easy to let uh, the elastic energy that your achilles tendon stores to take over the exercise so that is the reason that i incorporate pauses and then the second exercise in the superset was this ab crunch machine and this is a relatively new machine in go gym and i have to say that i really really like it because it allows you to like fully extend your back over the machine if that makes sense and not a lot of ab machines let you do that a lot of them have a straight back uh, whereas this one here if you can if you look closely it has its back is like broken into two and as a result you can like extend your spine fully and that is good because it just allows you to work your abs through a greater range of motion and 
On machines like this, it's so important to not let your arms take over the exercise. So you have to obviously grip the handles, but they should just be used as a grip as opposed to you actually using them to complete each rep. And you need to be completing each rep by crunching uh, your abs. And that can get difficult uh, when you know your abs start to burn, but you have to resist the urge to use your hands as much as possible. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this workout and this voiceover. I will see you in the next clip and make Make sure oh look at that Adam more weight what a beast I am but yeah I'll see you in the next clip anyway okay we are back in the crib and I'm <laughs> back in the crib like you just say the weirdest things on camera I've never ever said that before I swear to god but we are back in my house uh, and I've just whipped up my post-workout meal so we have two peri peri turkey burgers from Kerrigan's I had some prepared uh, we have 140 grams of cabbage and we also have uh, some mixed veg as well combo of the Asian one and the normal vegetable one from Aldi and of course I'm also gonna add some of this sweet chili sauce and then over here we have a little dessert so it is jelly and a banana I'm not sure if that's a weird combo probably is I don't care uh, and I honestly think that jelly is going to be my absolute savior on this cut so in this whole bowl, there is two of these little pots of jelly and it only comes to 18 calories. That is only 18 calories worth of jelly in there. Yeah, so it probably isn't my favorite snack in the world. Like ideally, I would be having like a chocolate bar or just something else. Uh, but for 18 calories, you literally just cannot go wrong. It is a calorie bargain. It kind of fills me up as well. It tastes decent, so yeah. I also have some fruit on there, some banana, uh, just to add in some extra carbs. It's really quiet, isn't it? <laughs> I usually listen to or watch a YouTube video, but I'm just not asked today. Small spoon acquired, and it is time to go. The one annoying thing about using a small spoon with jelly is that it's so slippy, it honestly just slips everywhere. Oh, and I went with a mixture of strawberry and raspberry jelly. They're my two favorite flavors. For 18 calories in the jelly, it's really, really good. And I think when you've been cutting like for so long, your standards of what is really, really good actually decreases because you're obviously just including less of those foods in your diet. So whenever you get something sweet, even if it isn't that nice, you're just like, oh, that's unreal. So apologies over the next like seven and a half weeks if I'm just saying everything is unreal. Like, oh, this broccoli is unreal. Yes. It is about to go down. I look forward to all of my meals, like don't get me wrong, but this is the one that I look forward to by far the most. So I look forward to this more than I look forward to my snack after this. Like that is how much I value this meal. So yeah, it is protein porridge with a few toppings and we have everything ready to go. So this is the 40 grams of oats mixed with water. We have our chocolate brownie whey protein. I have some dark chocolate and some powdered peanut butter, which is kind of a new addition uh, ready to go as well. That is such a good combo, I highly recommend. And then of course we have the marshmallows. So the first step is to obviously put the oats in the microwave and do not let your eyes leave that microwave. Yesterday, I got cocky. I went off to do something else, came back and the oats had overflown, which was honestly the worst thing. Up there, one of the worst things that has ever happened. It's happened before, like, but it's just so shit when that happens. So just keep an eye on them, make sure that they don't go over the bowl. All right, oats are looking nice and fluffy, so we add 30 grams of whey protein. Give that a mix. Next up is the square of dark chocolate and the 10 grams of powdered peanut butter and then the 20 grams of marshmallows. What I usually do is just stick it back in the microwave for like 20 seconds or so just uh, to let everything melt into the porridge. Okay, we are good to go and just look at that. Like just look at that. It doesn't get any better. Okay, me and Rach are just about to watch some Love Island. That is more getting stuck into Curtis uh, on yesterday's show. 
and I am going to have my final meal of the day, which as most of you probably know right now, I save my final like 400 calories ish uh, for a snack. So I have gone with the usual. We have 75 grams of sweet and salty popcorn, and I am going to have a packet of lentil crisp curls on top of that sour cream and onion flavor. Well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyway, make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I'll be bringing out a new video each and every week documenting my whole journey uh, up to this show in 7.5 weeks time, which sounds like a long time, but it really isn't. It really, really isn't. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.